Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Vic, and I'm over at MIT Media Lab doing some research there. I've always been passionate about transportation. Um, ships have carried us across oceans to explore vast new places. We've had trains that have essentially unlocked ability to kind of explore the landscape of the US and other parts of the world. We've also had the Model T from Henry Ford, which basically democratized the notion of transportation and allowed us to basically have our own way to get around places. And obviously we have planes. The Wright brothers created a whole new way to kind of explore the world. However, we're still packed ourselves in these densely populated cities with no way to, no way to really get around. I'm actually going to go to New York this week and I'm kind of dreading the traffic that I'm going to be hitting on the way there. And we have come up with different kinds of technologies to enable better ways to get around. For example, in Japan and China, you have maglev trains which go at 350 miles an hour to go various place to place. But these trains are really expensive and there's a reason why they haven't been introduced in the US. And you see the Amtrak, there's a little situation there. Um, and we commonly see this every day with maintenance and have things happening with uh, railway systems today. And there's a huge progress towards autonomous vehicles, but I don't think autonomous vehicles will really solve the issue of transportation and traffic. And obviously, on the roads today, especially in places like Texas, where I'm originally from, there's so many trucks on the road, making it harder for us to get around. Now, in 2013, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, announced a new transportation system, a fifth mode of transportation called the Hyperloop. Imagine an elevated tube or an underground tunnel that is pneumatically driven using these pods that go through these tubes at 700 miles an hour. Imagine where a society where you can go from New York to Boston in 30 minutes and be able to go from LA to San Francisco in 30 minutes. And essentially, you'd be tra traveling like the Jetsons um, in, in these tight little tiny pods, but that go really fast. And these pods are essentially suspended on air, and they're pushed through like a magnetic system that allows you to go at 700 miles an hour. Now, Elon Musk originally said that magnetic levitation, which is a core component of this kind of travel, is too expensive and, not, and, and construction is prohibitive. Now, how do we make the system cheaper? If we want to make a hyperloop happen today, we can't really use conventional methods of approaches to kind of build this technology. So, there are some team, team of engineers and I were discussing this um, some, in a classroom uh, back when I was in grad school um, over in Texas. And we were just wondering, like, how can we make the system travel like, much more efficient, cost-effective, and, and easy to use? And we designed this whole vehicle for uh, Elon's SpaceX tunnel to levitate on a, on a bed of air. Imagine where in this vehicle, it contains uh, little air hockey pucks. Imagine instead of air coming out of the table, it comes out of these tiny little pucks. And basically, it's, uh, having a few air tanks on these, uh, in this system, you can essentially have your own hovercraft. And this hovercraft creates um, in a system where there's no friction at all, which means you don't have to worry about drag or anything as you're floating through this tunnel. Now, we took this air hockey puck, and then we essentially built our own system around it. We started with the mechanical side. Um, my friend Chad essentially welded the entire uh, frame together. I helped to build the electronics for a system. We essentially, from the pneumatics to the controls to the propulsion system, everything was built from scratch. And then Patrick here designed the pneumatic system, which regulated the airflow into those little air hockey pucks. And then we strapped some air tanks on there and then built our own test track outside in the heat and then basically just started you know, doing some hovercraft tests. And it worked. Um, this is the first time that we were demonstrating this kind of a technology for frictionless uh, transport. This is a little video showcasing our first remote test. As you can see, the vehicle levitates on air. And as you move around, it's held to a monorail, which is basically keeping the vehicle uh, stable in the center beam. And as the vehicle is, is it's not even touching the ground, basically there's a little air disc that's levitating on air, and it's basically, you can move it with barely any force at all. And when it's not levitating, you wouldn't be able to move the vehicle at all, because there's several hundreds of pounds on that system. And then we brought this vehicle to SpaceX. Uh, they saw sort of our work that we were doing, and they thought, okay, well, maybe these guys are onto something. And so we demonstrated this technology in their vacuum chamber over at SpaceX HQ. And, you know, Elon and his, you know, henchmen all were there, and we were all just talking about this uh, work, and actually his, um, 
one of his VP of SpaceX who designed the Falcon 9 rocket actually came up to us. He's wondering, man, this is stuff. Like, we haven't never seen this before. Like, how can we, you know, sort of see this kind of progress further? And so we got to test it in their vacuum tube, and we see there this is the first time we're levitating this sort of air-bearing system in the vacuum. And then we won an innovation award for our work during the SpaceX Hyperloop competition last year in August 2017. And our team was wondering, okay, well, we've proved this, and how do we sort of make this kind of commercialized? How can we bring it out to the industry? How can we bring it out to the public? I mean, if we really believe in this technology to make Hyperloop transport cheaper, can we, can we just make it happen now? And so our team decided to develop this technology out further based on this whole new air levitation Hyperloop concept to achieve a theoretical max of 700 miles an hour at a lower cost compared to like magnetic levitation systems. So our whole purpose is to make a system of travel much cheaper and efficient than what we see today. And so this is our new vehicle design that we were building. Currently it's only set for 300 miles an hour, but this is the first time you'll ever see something work at the speeds using the type of technology we're using. And so our hope is to demonstrate this technology yearly next year at, back at SpaceX and continue to build forward the technology and working with SpaceX and other companies to make it happen. And so we even built our own test track, and so we've been working on this, you know, during our nighttime or day jobs or whatever it may be, to make this happen in reality. Our whole purpose has been to make travel much easier and simpler for people. And so recently, Elon Musk announced his company, The Boring Company, which digs tunnels underground, that they're building tunnels under LA, in Baltimore and other cities in the US. And we're actually excited to say that we'll be working with this company to kind of test our technology in their systems. And so our hope is that we want to create a Hyperloop system all around the US. And we really believe that this new method of levitation is so key to this big component of transportation. And if we can't make systems that are cheaper and efficient and better for people to travel, it's, it's harder for us to experience this kind of a, this, uh, ability to kind of get around to places. I've always wanted to go to New York in 30 minutes of every weekend, but every time I'm stuck in traffic, and I would love to experience a Hyperloop or a pneumatic system that would take us there. Yeah, so I'm so happy to kind of talk about this, and I'm, you know, it's, it's exciting to see where this is going, and our hope is to build out a system for the whole future and see where we can take this in America today. Thanks.